Hello YouTube, I'm back again with another product spotlight. Today we're going to take a look at some of the HO scale stuff that was in the box I got from Atlas recently. All right, so in this product spotlight, we have two things. One's a piece of rolling stock and the other one is a locomotive. I'm really excited about the locomotive, so we'll save that for last. So this might look a little familiar. It's the HO scale version of the gondolas that we looked at in N scale last week. I'll open it up so we can take a look at it out of the box. All right, so here we are out of the box now. And this is the same kind of Top Gun, as I mentioned before, that we looked at recently on an episode of N scale Friday. These gondolas were actually hoppers before, and Norfolk Southern took them in and repurposed them as gondolas for coal service. These are available from Atlas for $42.95 for a single like this. They have three packs for $128.85 and six packs for $257.70. And we're going to take a closer look at them now. So like the N-Scale version of this car, I looked it over with my magnifying visor and found the paint and printing to be exquisite. There's also, just like on the N scale, very finely rendered rivet detail there on the part where the rib meets the side of the car. All the writing, legible. The ladders are made with wire grabs. That's why they look so thin and nice. You have a separately applied brake wheel, an etched metal brake platform, metal wire ladder detail there's an uncoupling lever also that's metal wire comes like this out of the box it's really nice if you look in there it's kind of hard to see because it's dark in there but you can see there's a cylinder for the brake system and lots of de small detail right lots of fine details on this thing it's pretty cool just like the n scale version of this car you have inside bracing this is really nicely done. And then on the bottom, you have lots of finely rendered rivet detail. It's very nice. These are 100 ton trucks with blackened metal wheels. That's a great feature right there. You don't have to switch out the wheel sets. Very nice. So there's your look at the gondola. Let's have a look at that locomotive. All right, so this is what's called the Atlas Classic Alco RS11. Obviously, it's painted up for Southern Pacific. And this happens to be the gold line, which comes with ESU, DCC, and sound installed at the factory. This normally goes for $269.95. They also have a silver line, which is DCC ready with an 8-pin plug, that goes for $159.95. And looking at Atlas's website, I saw what looked to me to be at least 12 different paint schemes, maybe more. The model has LEDs, and one of the other cool features, and I noticed this when I pulled this thing out of the box, is it's heavy. It has a die cast mainframe, and also a five pole motor, so the low speed control should be really good on this thing. We'll see, because I'm gonna run it before we're done with this spotlight and if you look at it you can see that the the grabs on it especially up here in the front are wire grabs this is not some molded or cheap plastic junk these are separately applied wire grabs and they look really nice we'll take a closer look at all this stuff as we go i'm just trying to give you a highlight reel of this thing so looking a little more closely here you can see the grill detail there and especially this one, it looks like there's a photo etched piece overlaying against some detail that's molded into the side of the body. It looks really nice. See a little guy in there, engineer. The paint on this model is really nice too. Covers very well and detailing in the trucks are pretty nice. There's the wire grabs. Those look really good. Nice. Here's the fireman side. There's a lot of wire grabs installed there. The wire grabs make this look really nice. 
course, more grill detail similar to the engineer side. Something else I'm noticing that's pretty cool is that the plastic walkway railings are not bent. A lot of times you see plastic railings like this and they're warped or bent. These are pretty straight. And the back has more of the same separately applied grabs, wire grabs that look very to scale, separately applied cut lever and MU hoses. Looking at the top, you can see it looks like it has some depth to this giant grill here. This is very cool. Looks like a built-in spark arrester in the exhaust there. And of course, the three-time horn also looks pretty good. So I'm really anxious to put this thing on a track and see what it runs and sounds like. Let's do that. Okay, I've set the locomotive on the track and we're gonna do a little test run here. See how it sounds, see how it looks, see how it runs. It sounds chunky. Just like a real Alco. The only thing missing is a bunch of smoke. <laughs> Anyway, let's see how this thing goes here. I'm going to turn the light on. Oh, cool. The number boards come on with the headlight. That's a nice feature, and they look good, too. Okay, rear headlight comes on with number boards. Let's give this thing some throttle. Here, tell you what, let's give it the smallest amount of throttle we can. Here's your slow speed capabilities. This is the advantage of having a five pole modern motor. This thing is really good at low speeds. Look at that. We've got other sounds here too. I can't get over how good the low speed is on this thing. I just want to show you the lights. See the number boards come on with the lights and it looks really good. All right, I've hooked it up to my DC supply now, DC power supply. We're gonna see how this runs in DC. All right. There it goes. Looks, looks like it has good control on DC as well. All right, whoa, gotta slow down there. Now I'll run it backwards. And forward one more time. Yeah, it's a little wonky trying to do a... Trying to control a DCC locomotive with DC like this. Because at a certain point, the sound comes on, and then you can finally 
give it some juice. I do think it's cool though that if you only run DC, you could still use this. And look at the low speed control. This is on DC. Just gonna inch it up here. Come on, there it goes. This is on DC. So the decoder working in DC also is good. So even if you're a DC only guy, this would work for you. And it's cool that they've they've figured a way to make these things work this way. Isn't that RS11 amazing? I can't wait to get it on a layout someplace and take a look at it running with some distance. Should be cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will catch you next week and we'll take a look at the rest of the HO scale stuff that was in that box.